What's going on, you guys, man? We back at it with another day in life, man. I told you guys, I'm gonna come back with a back-to-back -back video. So check it out, man. Right now, I'm currently at the gas station. Today is Wednesday, uh, January, or I don't know, hold on. But today, we are gonna be doing another live trade, man. Today is Wednesday, very low-risk trade, and we gonna go about our day, man. Just let Wawa. Grab my coffee. Now it's time to get to the road. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe to the channel. I would definitely appreciate it. Leave a comment down below. It will let me know that you guys tapped in. That being said, I'm going to see you guys shortly. You did. that don't know i have been documenting my youtube journey on uh, my trading my forex trading journey for a while now and mind you guys there were several factors several reasons why i decided to create this youtube channel for one my spirit told me to and i really i really want to be able to inspire many people seeing that there are stretching he's working at his nine to five job he quit his job he used to be high and trading inside of work inside of his job in apartments and inside of a water truck and all that shit but dog the purpose of my video is to inspire you guys, the new traders that are coming to the industry and trying to make it because I wanna let you guys know and see that this shit is not easy. If you trade a live account, if you guys are fucking using a prop firm challenge, bro, Forex trading, bro, this shit is really not easy. It's a mission, bro. It, 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 the level of discipline that you need is like, it's, it's, it's unlike anything I've ever fucking encountered and that gonna probably be anything you ever fucking encounter. And I'm telling you dead ass serious, bro. Forex trade is hard. Ain't motherfucker telling y'all that trade is easy, man. They, they, man, they fucking lying, bro. Technical analysis, yeah, there's a lot of different technical analysis and different type of trading strategies you can be able to come across. When it comes to that discipline, bro, that shit is fucking trading, bro. That's the motherfucker right there, man. That's why trading is a hard bitch, bro. Motherfucker that's telling y'all that trading is easy, bro. That is fucking cap, bro. That is fucking cap, but that being said, man, I'm gonna see you guys shortly. I'm gonna get ready soon. Take my daughter to school. And we're gonna get on these charts and see if we see a setup. Today is Wednesday, so I have to be careful because the market tends to be doing a lot of. Sorry, it does a lot I'm of fake outs during. To, shut the fuck up. Um, the market tend to be doing. The market tend to do a lot of fake outs on Wednesday, so I gotta make sure I'm careful with my trades and become very like selective on my trades. So that being said, I'm gonna see you guys really soon. So here at the Salvation Army, about to about to donate some clothes here. I was doing it yesterday. I'm really big on giving back. So we got these two bags of clothes. I'm gonna give to these people over here. Good morning. Do I put these clothes right here, right? I believe that God definitely see the things that we really genuinely do from the heart. And I feel the things that we put into the universe is the things that we pretty much give back, especially when we're trying to change our lives. So this is what I gotta make sure I do, because God is watching. Alrighty. Thank you, appreciate it. Matter of fact, I'm gonna bless this dude. I got $10 right here, I'm gonna get to him. I know how it feels to, to not have, bro. Like. I ain't gonna lie, bro. You know, I like to keep a lot of personal shit in my life, personal. Um, it's for you, man. Take the auto to get to man. I like to keep a lot of things in my personal life personal, but at one time I understood how it feel to, to have to... My pleasure. God bless you, man. You. Yes, sir. I definitely know how it, how it is to be placed in a situation where you are dead ass broke. There was once upon a time, man, I was, bro, just don't even know, man. It's just, it's just so much shit that I've went through, bro, that I don't even want to put on the internet, bro, because at the end of it, it's not the internet's business. Like, it's my business and it's God's business. Um, but I know what it feels like to have to go around and ask for money, bro. Like, dead ass. There was a time in my life where, bro, my leg was fucked up. I ain't really have no fucking body. Like, not a motherfucking soul to help me out, bro. And I had to, I had to panhandle in Walmart, uh, in Walmart parking lot. 
I try to get a few funds, bro, to be able to take a bus and get something to eat, bro. So I know what the fuck it feels like, bro. And I actually, the one thing about it, a lot of successful traders say they went through certain shit, bro. But let me tell you something, bro. I got fucking videos in my motherfucking phone of certain shit I actually dead ass went through that I don't speak about. But it ain't nobody business. It's just my business and it's God's business because what I went through eventually gonna be a fucking testimony to me and people. But that being said, I'm not gonna write on about this. I finna go pick up my baby and take my baby to fucking school. So, yeah. Big girl. Big girl. Come on, mommy. You still make you ready for school, sweetheart? You ready to go to school, mamas? You don't wanna go to school? You have to. Come on. Big girl. Surely. Big girl, look. Why are you being so mean today? Because you want a tablet? You, that's not fair. You can't have a tablet every day, big girl. I recommend you guys, if you have any kids, do not give y'all kids a tablet all the time. When you give your kids a tablet all the time, they will fucking get in their feelings. They can't give it up. Bro, it's like, it's like brainwashing. It's like brainwashing, dude. So I recommend you guys, don't give y'all kids tablets all the time, bro. Um, it just, it's just very toxic to give your kids a talent all the time. They just don't do that. That's my advice. So, you ever go drop her in school? Why are you looking so mean? Yes, you had a good day. Now you're having a bad day already. You better be a good girl today. You gonna be a good girl for daddy? You gonna be a good girl for daddy, mama? Thank you. Please be a good girl for daddy. We're gonna pray together when we come out the car, okay? Daddy. 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 Daddy, 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 daddy. There you go. There go the spirit. That's what I want to see. Yes, sir. Daddy. 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 That's what I'm talking about. Let's get it. You did. You gotta close your eyes. You ready? You gotta close your eyes. Say, dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you for waking me up today. Bless mommy. Bless daddy. Bless me. Bless teacher. In Jesus name, I pray. Amen. Good job. Clap it out. High five. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. I love you. Come on, let's go. Give me a little bit. Give me a bit. Thank you. You're going to have a good day? Say yes, daddy. Say ciao, y'all. Say ciao. I got it. Say ciao. Come on. You're going to have a good day? Say yes. You're going to have a good day today, y'all. That girl. That girl does not even want to go to school sometimes, bro. It's rough getting her inside the class, bro. I ain't gonna lie, be hurting my heart to see her just like tear up and stuff like that. If you are becoming a father or want to become a father, let me tell you something. Taking your kids to school at times, it, it makes us emotional at times, bro. Because I ain't gonna lie, like 50% of the time when I take my baby to school and I see her not wanting to go to school, or just walking away from the school, it just makes it melts my heart, and I just I just want to be like, no way, I'll just take you today. I don't want to, I don't want you to go to school. I'll just spend a day with you. Um, but we got to be strong throughout all that because at the end day, ah, <sighs> those are our little ones. Those are our future, man. So yeah, if you are becoming a father, I want to become a father. There's like this emotional barrier when it comes to like letting your kids go to school, bro. And the world that we live in today, man, we don't live in a safe environment, man. It's just this. Oh man, sometimes I just don't want to take her to school. But I'm gonna go ahead and go throughout the rest of this day. And I'm gonna see you guys in the markets. Hopefully, we'll be able to catch a dub. If not, we just not gonna do nothing. And if it's a lose, it's a loss. We're gonna walk away. We're gonna come back tomorrow. So, and I'm not going to work today, and I'll be back tomorrow. Hold on. Yes? Michelle's father? What's going on? Thank you. As of right now, this is the only trade setup that I see. Got a NAS 100 
um, on a 30 minute, go on a 30 minute time frame. I have a 30 minute supply order block with a little bit more embass to fill. Also, there is a five minute order block right here. That price basically already mitigated, but I won't feel safe to enter this trade until after the break of this 15 minute order block. So as of right now, it's a waiting time frame. I don't know if it's gonna happen right now because uh, if you can look, it's 8.20 currently. And at 8.30, you guys see we have red folder news. We have GDP, m and &M, We have employment cost index. So as of right now, we're gonna wait. Our current balance in equity is 4.5. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna wait. In, yeah, I think I'm gonna probably wait before I even decide to take this trade. I don't see anything else anywhere else besides on gold. I see one more thing on gold. Um, but as of right now, we're gonna wait because I see a break and a retest of the support area when it comes to uh, when it comes to gold, and not just that, but there's an area of demand down here on the 15 minute. Uh, let me see on the one hour, also on the one hour, and more likely on the 30 minute as well, and more likely on the five minute as well. So right now, I'm gonna wait and see what happens after news before I even. If I even decide to even place a trade, but as of right now, this A, this NAS 100 is the only thing that really looks really nice to me. But yeah, we're gonna wait. We're definitely gonna wait. You did, bro. That was just so stupid. I don't even know why I did that. <laughs> Baby, I entered that trade that supply when there was news in like two minutes. Stupid ass nigga. Yeah, but it's too late now. It went straight to my third minute supply. If I just waited. Crazy. I'm done for the day. I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> All right, these type of rookie mistakes y'all just can't do. Um, right here, as you can see, that arrow, that's exactly where my stop loss was at, a little bit above that. And I don't know, bro. I also had that 30 minute supply. Like, let me go to the 30 minute time frame so y'all can see it closely. I had this 30 minute supply right here. Bam. And there was a five minute supply that I had. It had that little bit of uh, imbalance. It literally tapped that fucking 30 minute order block, look like by zero pips. And. Yeah, I shouldn't have fucked with that shit. I shouldn't even fuck around. When it comes to this market, when news is around, I was just kind of, I was just trying something out. Oh, y'all see what my bass was? Now that's where it's at. And we're done. We'll be back in the market tomorrow, though. You take the L today, we'll be back tomorrow. We're gonna go get a fucking, we're gonna get on the boat and just be able to think about life and just reflect a lot of things, how far we've come. Well, I hope you guys just enjoy the rest of this day with me and the wifey. Yes, sir. So, brr, tight shit. Are you gonna help me talk normal? Our tour boat. We just finished our our tour boat ride, and now we're gonna go get something to eat because we are starving like a mug. Yes, uh, so now we're gonna leave Bayside, get to the wheels, and then what you wanna eat? I might go to Jackson's Parlor and Daisy. If you guys have not been there, is like literally the best food. They hand make their ice cream. It's amazing. Boom, tight shit. So, but I think we parked over there. No, no we, we parked over here. There. So yeah, I'm gonna see you guys later. Mm -hmm. sit next to me real quick. Mm -hmm. Boom, y'all see our height? And real quick, if y'all can guess my height and my fiance's height, I will cash up y'all ass $50. Just go ahead and put what you think her height is and my height, and I will cash up y'all ass $50. Hey. Comment it in the comment section. If you get it right first, the first person that get it, 
put in the comment section and then send me a way to be able to DM you and how I'll be able to see you 50 bucks. If you guess my height and my fiance height, baby, let's do it again next to each other one more time. Yep. yep. Bottom down. Yes, tight. sir. Ooh, right. do, 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 do. You gotta guess my height and her height yes. and you gotta be right. And, and when y'all get, get that 50, y'all better invest that to sway. That part. In case you could not see how tall we were, here's a different uh, shot. If you can guess my height and my fiance height, bro. That's $50. Just go ahead and put it in the comment section. And, bro, if you get it first, I, I will message you. And you have to tell me what to be able to see you the bread. So, bum. You did. Uh -oh. Let's get it. Jackson's, Jackson's, what is it called? Jackson's Ice Cream Parlor. It's in Dania Beach. Dania Beach, right, babe? Yes. Dania Beach. Um, and, brr, let's see what we're gonna grow up on today. I'm starving. I'm gonna eat, bro. I'm gonna eat too. I'm gonna spit a bag in here. <laughs> Watch. Today was lit. Today was an amazing day. Probably back at the matrix tomorrow. I did take off Monday, Tuesday. Today is Wednesday. I might even take off tomorrow. I just really need to spend some time with my fiance right here, man. My wifey definitely need the time. I definitely need the time. I've been going super hard. Didn't really take much of a break at all this year. But that being said, I hope you guys all enjoyed this content. If you can please give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe to the channel if you have not. Also, if you guys are interested in the best broker i highly recommend you guys to use sway markets i rock with sway markets very 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 heavy they have amazing spreads bro and the withdrawal process the deposit processes is very very fast if you are interested click the link in the bottom of my description that being said i hope you guys really enjoyed the content um may you have anything you want to say yes also remember we are doing the 50 dollar giveaway for any of those who could guess our height her height and my height if you guys guess it right in the comment section her height versus my height I will be giving you $50. I will let you guys know. The first person that get it right, I will let you guys know. You guys have to tell me the best one to send y'all the 50 bucks, and I will make sure that happens. That'll be up for the video. Until next time, you guys already know what it is. Jesus. Deuces. What the